During an interview with Greta Van Susteren on MSNBC, Debbie Do Anything for Hillary Wasserman Schultz was asked to respond to Bernie Sanders' criticism of the Democratic Party. Now, Bernie contends that the party has got to be more grassroots. They've got to move away from big money donors and stop relying on multinational corporations to fund their elections. Now, Debbie was asked to respond to this criticism specifically, but before I even get to that, I can't not mention how unexpectedly hilarious the introduction was. Last summer, during the election, WikiLeaks exposed committee emails showing staffers appearing to side with Secretary Clinton over Senator Bernie Sanders. That led to the chairwoman of the DNC stepping down. And with me is that former DNC chair, Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Democrat from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> That was amazing. And this is how every single mainstream media pundit should introduce Debbie Wasserman Schultz. She is and will forever be known as the failed DNC chair who was forced to resign in shame because she couldn't even abide by the DNC's own charter because she was looking out for herself. She wanted to rig the election in favor of Hillary Clinton so that way she would be part of Hillary Clinton's administration. She wanted a job with Hillary Clinton, hence why she was trying to rig it against Hillary Clinton's opponents. But putting that aside uh, <laughs> and how amazing that introduction was, well, she actually responded to Bernie Sanders and what he had to say. So here's her reaction to Bernie Sanders, followed by her response. And first, I'd like to get your reaction, Congresswoman, to Senator Bernie Sanders, what he said earlier today. Well, clearly, the Democratic Party needs a top-down overhaul. And that top-down overhaul means that instead of becoming dependent and being dependent on big money interest for campaign contributions, it has got to become a grassroots party. It has got to start speaking and acting and fighting for working people, for young people. Perez has got to capitalize that, and that's the kind of party I think has to, the Democrats have to create. Cashman, I'm sort of a little bit like what I heard four years ago when the Republicans were doing an autopsy after they lost the election in um, 2012. Um, but is Senator Bernie Sanders right? Um, does it have to start at the top and come down? And if so, how do you do that? Well, I mean, first, let me just say, um, it, I'm not sure why the chair of either national political party asking for staff resignations is news, because it's a pretty routine practice. It is important for each chair to be able to, you know, shuffle the footprint and make sure that they analyze their staffing so needs, what about, that's what all about what, that this was. What about what uh, Senator Bernie Sanders says? I mean, what's going on with the Democratic Party, or what should go on? Well. You know, respectfully to Senator Sanders, um, we are already a grassroots party. I mean, if we were not, we would not have been able to help bring down the absolutely abhorrent health care repeal bill that uh, that would have knocked 24 million people over 10 years off of their health care, that would have increased costs astronomically for people who were between 50 and 64 years old, increased prescription drug prices. So he's wrong. And so, no. Um, I, I, it's actually more like semantics. We all agree that we should be and we are a grassroots party that focuses on making sure that we can help people reach the middle class. I think, though, the Republican Party, there are a lot of Republicans who voted for Donald Trump would say, you know, so the populist movement would say they're the grassroots, they're the Tea Party. I mean, I mean, everyone's sort of, you know, everyone's sort of trying to hijack that term. Um, actually, if you look at the, 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 the facts, Hillary Clinton won the popular vote the majority of voters that went to the polls to choose their choice for president chose Hillary Clinton and our agenda. So the American people actually overwhelmingly agree with us, and they proved it again on Friday when the, the Republicans had to abandon their abhorrent health care repeal plan because it hurt millions of people and it wasn't even something they could stomach. Respectfully to Bernie Sanders, we are already a grassroots party. Really, Debbie? If I'm not mistaken, you were the same person who defended the use of superdelegates because you said that they were kind of the failsafe to protect the establishment against the grassroots. Unpledged delegates exist really to make sure that party leaders and elected officials don't have to be in a position where they are running against grassroots activists. So now you're saying you already are a grassroots party, but back then during the primaries in 2016, you were contending that the grassroots, or you implied certainly that the grassroots were a problem and they kind of got in the way of the Democratic Party establishment. So which is it? And you don't realize that when you say things like this, you make yourself look absolutely ridiculous because you're literally trying to convince us that the same party that had to undergo training just so that way they can learn how to talk to real people is actually out there in the trenches with ordinary Americans organizing with the grassroots activists. 
She's saying the same party that rejected a ban on corporate lobbyist money is supposedly grassroots. Debbie, there's not a single person that believes you. Not one. What you're saying is factually incorrect. Now, what she's probably referring to is the January 15th rally that was held across the country where for the first time in years, congressional Democrats actually held rallies with their constituents to urge Congress not to repeal the Affordable Care Act. However, you don't get to take credit for this because this was organized by Bernie Sanders. When he was made the Democratic Party's outreach leader, he organized this event. So you don't get to take credit for that because you are part of the same group of Democrats that contend, well, you know, Bernie Sanders isn't a Democrat, so, you know, we'd love to have him, but he's an independent. So until he's actually a Democrat, then we can't really get behind Bernie Sanders. However, you don't get to take credit for something that Bernie Sanders does if you claim he's not a Democrat, which is it. You can't only say that Bernie Sanders is a Democrat and is part of your team when it's convenient for you. Now, she also tries to take credit for what constituents in town halls across the country is doing. She said, well, you know, as evidence that we defeated this abhorrent repeal attempt by the Republicans to get rid of the Affordable Care Act, well, you saw what we did. We rose up in town halls across the country. But Debbie, you don't get credit for that as well. The constituents that showed up to town halls across the country to demand that they did not repeal the Affordable Care Act, well, those same constituents were showing up at Democratic town halls. Now she claims here, you know, what Bernie Sanders is saying, it's more like semantics because, quote, we all agree that we should be and we are a grassroots party. Debbie, you are not a grassroots party. The reason why you lost and were decimated and have zero power in every single level of government is because you moved away from the grassroots and you specifically facilitated the shift. I mean, you were the one who rolled back President Obama's ban on lobbyist contributions to the DNC. President Obama was a corporate Democrat through and through, but even he realized that, you know, maybe it's a bad look and maybe people will think that we're not representing them because we aren't. So maybe we should at least put this ban on lobbyist contributions so that way it appears as though we represent the voters. You did away with that. So you're honestly trying to tell us now that you're the party of grassroots? And then she goes on to cite the popular vote as if the people that voted for Hillary Clinton didn't just vote for her as a means of defeating Donald Trump. This implies that people were enthusiastically supporting Hillary Clinton when she was one of the most historically disliked candidates ever. And she claims that the American people overwhelmingly agree with the party. Well, agree with you on what? What do you stand for? Because any time I see a Democrat asked what it is the party stands for, uh, they have no answer. So agree with you on what? What we agree with is the policies that Bernie Sanders is espousing. And we agree with Bernie Sanders because he's actually talking about the policies. He's not espousing platitudes that mean nothing, that have zero substance, unlike the rest of the Democratic Party establishment. Because if you don't actually have something like a tangible policy that would really benefit voters, you can't do anything but espouse platitudes. So I don't know what you're talking about here, Debbie, but you're making yourself look really foolish and not a single person believes that the Democratic Party is already the party of the grassroots. You are the party of corporate America and you aren't even trying to hide that now. So the fact that you would try to entertain this idea that you're already grassroots, well, this implies that you don't think the Democratic Party should do anything. You don't think that they need to reform at all. When you were wiped out, again, in the House, the Senate, the White House, uh, you don't hold a majority of governorships. You also do not hold a majority of legislatures. I mean, we're getting to the point where Republicans can actually amend the Constitution because of you, because of your leadership at the DNC and because of corporate Democrats that refuse to represent their constituents and excite the base. So... Yeah, the party isn't grassroots, nobody believes you, and you do need to reform. And I don't know why you're talking on MSNBC, you have zero credibility. Again, you resigned in shame, Debbie. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.